Well, hello, 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 and welcome to Elmer's Garage. Today, we're actually on our way to New York to pick up my uh, newest project car. All right, so today, um, you know, we're doing the five hour drive up to Long Island, New York. Um, actually, I didn't take, you know, me heading out of the house. I did a little bit of video, but we left around six in the morning. The sun wasn't out yet, so it was pretty dark. I didn't want to film in the dark. But um, we picked up a trailer yesterday also at a U-Haul, and uh, we have that now. We've been towing that trailer. Wife's here too, having some coffee. <laughs> She's my helper today. But, um, you know, so far we've traveled probably a good 190 miles. Uh, it's about, uh, I think, I'm not sure how many miles is total. I'm guessing it's around 360 total. But we're in uh, Maple Shade, New Jersey, and uh, we have about a 40 minute, 30 to 40 minute uh, stop here to refuel. Uh, the supercharger here is refueling at 274 miles an hour right now, so it's a pretty quick charger. And, um, you know, we're on our way, you know, so this is the beginning of it. I'm, trowing, I'm towing the trailer and I'll show you in a bit. You can see the rear view camera is really nice because you can, you know, keep an eye on the trailer and make sure it's not going anywhere. Um, so that's going to be it. Uh, we're going to stay here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to charge and we're going to keep going. All right, as you can see, I am parked here. Uh, all the uh, Tesla superchargers have one of their chargers that kind of sits out instead of uh, being uh, in, in line with the others. This one is made so that you can actually park here using a trailer. Uh, so it sits on a corner, so that way you can pull right in with your trailer and, uh, and supercharge. All right, so we're back on the road uh, after, you know, refuel refueling at the uh, Tesla supercharger. So, you know, I got about a, you know, two, I, I charged up to around 200 miles. So we have enough to get all the way where, uh, where I'm going, you know, so I wouldn't have to stop anymore, but I may stop just in case, just so that I don't get there with like 40 miles left over and have to charge afterwards. But I just want to talk a little bit about towing. Um, this is my first time towing with this car. I am towing a U-Haul uh, car tow dolly. Um, I think it's about 700 pounds, and I, you know, I don't really feel it. I mean, there's definitely, yeah, I can hear it, and there's definitely some vibration um, from, the top, from the dolly, but other than that, I don't feel a difference. I haven't felt a difference in range either. Um, it's only 700 pounds, so, you know, I'm, I'm expecting that to change on the way back. Uh, when I come back down, I'm going to be, you know, trailering a close to 2,000 pound vehicle on top of the uh, 700 pound uh, dolly. So, so we'll see how that goes. But otherwise, you know, I engage the uh, tow mode on the vehicle. And, you know, so that'll help out with the uh, suspension. One thing I noticed right now, uh, actually, when I said that, I actually, uh, since I stopped the car, turned, you know, turned it off when I was at the gas station uh, slash super, supercharger station, I had, I had set the ride height to standard. So, you know, it was a little higher and a little bit better ride. But also I had, uh, apparently when you turn the car off or when you supercharge, it deactivates your settings. So the tow mode was turned off and so was the, uh, the height. It was gone down, it had gone down to low. So I guess you have to keep an eye on that because if you do stop, you have, you're gonna have to reset your settings. You know, so right now with the dolly, with an empty dolly, I don't think it's a big deal. But when I'm towing the car, I'm gonna have to make sure that it's in tow mode so you can adjust the suspension accordingly. So anyways, I'm gonna keep going and um, I'll see you when I get uh, either to the next stop or to the vehicle. All 
All right, so I ended up stopping. I had enough to get all the way to my destination, but I decided to stop and charge here instead of trying to charge here with a loaded trailer um, on the way back. Uh, the only issue I had is this supercharger does not have one of the convenient trailer uh, chargers. So I actually had to unhitch and my trailer's sitting somewhere back there. Yep, right back there. So I had to unhitch the trailer, which is, you know, it doesn't take too long, it's pretty quick. Um, and, you know, we're just gonna end up uh, filling up here, charging up the battery, and uh, my destination's probably like 10 miles away, so I'm pretty close. And uh, I should be there, you know, shortly, and we'll see how that goes, but second charger stop. My assistant today. <laughs> so for this, I'm just gonna turn this. Tight. These chains are linked underneath, and you're gonna wanna cross them. Okay. Now to, re to bring up the slack, you're just going to twist. Good. And this, you give it a little bit of slack. Yeah, cobra. White saw cobra. That's going to be it. Everything's tight. We're ready to go. All right, so the trailer's hooked up again. Um, we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go into the settings here, go into driving, I believe, and then turn on trailer mode again. It's gonna turn it off. Suspension, I'm also gonna raise it to standard. And normally what you wanna do is you want to, uh, you wanna, Go forward a little bit with the car and then re tighten the uh, you know the little nut uh, there. But we're gonna head out. Right, so we have Andres here. Uh, this is actually the owner of the Mini Cooper. We got it all loaded and we're getting ready to go. But I know he's a little bit sad. He's had the car since he uh, came to school here in New York. He went to the university here. What university did you go to? Stony Brook University. Stony Brook University. So, um, you know, it's a friend of mine and a uh, friend of the family. And, you know, we're here. My wife's here. She came to say hello to his, his sister. They're, they're friends from way back when. But um, the car's loaded and I know he's sad to see it go. But uh, we got a lot in store for it and a lot of. Uh, a lot of projects you left me. Absolutely. I think I think the first project is cleaning it up. So <laughs> it's gonna. But the car's in really decent shape. Just a lot of spider webs and dirt. <laughs> but uh, it'll be something fun to uh, for the channel and something fun to to work on. Anything else you want me to say? You gonna uh, buy it I back once I finish it? Yes, maybe. Hopefully, <laughs> I hope you have fun repairing it and driving. It was a fun car to drive. Yeah. And it was. Uh, it was amazing driving it for five years, honestly. All right, well that's it. We're gonna get on the road and hopefully everything goes smoothly. All right, so we're on our way. The Mini Cooper is loaded and hopefully everything goes smoothly. We got several hours till we get back home.
Well, just got pulled over by a nice police officer. And apparently you cannot tow a vehicle on a parkway, which is what I'm on. So I'm gonna have to find another route. All right, so we had to stop in Cranberry, uh, New Jersey, I believe it is. And uh, this supercharger is really small. It only has four stalls. And there's two of these EVGO, EVGO, uh, you know. So I ended up, uh, luckily there's nobody here. So I just pulled up and uh, took up about two of the uh, Tesla charger spots. But, um, you know, I don't think anybody will come here just because it's totally hidden. And actually, when you get off the exit here, there's two exits. There's the first one that there's no signage, but then you have to get off at the second one. Otherwise you can't come into this lot. So it's kind of confusing. So if anybody's out there trying to charge their car in Cranberry, New Jersey, take the second exit if you're coming southbound on 95. But that's it, you know, we're gonna charge here for a little while. This is the first stop that we've had. Um, had a little bit of a hitch. Uh, the electrical was not working on the car. So I had, I had to end up going somewhere a u-haul place and they didn't know how to figure it out eventually i figured it out one of the cables was frayed so i was able to rewire it rewire it splice it and put some electrical tape on it and so far it seems like it's working because it's nighttime and either way people can't people don't know you're stopping unless your trailer lights work so we'll see how it goes but so far we're just going to stop here and you know charge for a bit and uh keep going For the second time today. Oh, hello. Good evening, Trooper O'Donnell with the Maryland. Mm -hmm. Well, what happened was, I think after you supercharge, you have to turn the trailer mode back on because apparently it turns it off. And I was driving down 95 South, and I, apparently my trailer lights weren't working. Either it was a trailer mode, or either it was the um, the frayed cable that I had repaired earlier. The trooper was nice. He let me off with a warning. But um, right there on the road, on the side of the road, I rewired it. You know, I took the tape off and put it back on again. And, you know, eventually, I mean, it started working again. So not sure if it was the wire or if it was the trailer mode, but the police officer was nice enough to uh, to help me out with the flashlight in the uh, dark on 95. And, uh, and we ended up getting home. All right, so this is what was giving me an issue. This wire had come loose here. And, uh, you know, they have these little waterproof little crimper uh, for the wires that wire had completely come out this white one here So I took all the tape off and I was able to splice them together and uh, And using the same tape I ended up, you know wrapping it and then just holding it together and uh, It held up after the second time I got pulled over <laughs> But uh, you know you always gotta Gotta resolve that All right, so this is the new to me 2007 Mini Cooper hatchback uh, it's got a four-cylinder inline uh, dual overhead cam, 16-valve, uh, making a whopping 118 horsepower and 114 foot-pounds of torque. So, um, you know, the Tesla that's hauling it is probably making around 500 horsepower. So, uh, but it weighs this thing weighs a fraction of that. So, we'll see how things go, but. Um, First thing I need to do is get it washed, but really the first thing I need to do is get this thing off the trailer. Battery's dead, so I'm gonna go ahead and just jump it until I get a new battery. Remove the chains. And that's why I know that the chains work. All right, so I wanted to do a walk around, just pointing out things that I that I can see right off the bat. Um, you know, there's a lot of cosmetic things, obviously. You know. 
Um, the paint's peeling all over the place. And here's one thing is you can't tell, you can't tell that it's peeling because everything's wet, but there is no clear coat here. So that's a good sign that if I can, I might be able to repair that um, with some clear coat. Um, the rear brakes seem to be locked up. Um, it was sitting for about two years. So it could be that they just rusted on. You know, the brake light's on, so it might be that the, uh, so it could be that the uh, rear brake's just not disengaging. You know, that's something we'll have to check out. Um, you know, when I got it, I, you know, I got it as is, obviously, and, you know, um, the owner told me that the uh, brake light was on, so. Uh, but everything seems fine. Doesn't look like there's any leaking. You know, it's been raining. There's no water inside, so there's no leaks. Pretty much every panel has uh, some clear coat damage. You can see there, there's just one spot on this panel. Uh, the rear bumper may not have, yeah, right there. There's clear coat damage everywhere. Bumper has one little scuff here. You know, we'll probably see if we can repair that as well. Tail light, I've already ordered a tail light. So we actually, I think I already have it at home. So that's one thing I noticed right from the beginning. The, well, this window is not all the way up, so I'll have to check uh, with the battery. This pillar cover is missing. I ordered, I already ordered one for about, I think, $60, somewhere around there. And um, I'm trying to see what else. You know, as you can see, definitely, I think this is the only panel that may not have clear coat damage. Um, this one has a uh, pretty deep, um, you know, door ding, and we can probably get that taken out. There's a small scratch that can be touched up. Um, but other than that, there's no, there's no real damage. There's no, it's never been in an accident. Um, you know, but I'll have to check out uh, to see what's going on. You know, it definitely looks like it's gonna need uh, some new disc brakes. This one's not too bad, but the other side is pretty bad. So we'll probably get new disc brakes. I'm not sure if we're gonna need calipers for this, if that rear is seized up. Um, but we'll see when we get around to that. There's the engine. Spider webs he threw in for free. Um, so it's going to need a really good cleaning. You know, I'll take a look. I didn't see any oil leaks on the oil pan underneath. And I need a new battery and a battery cover. Like I said, most of this stuff is cosmetic. The brakes is the one thing that we're definitely going to need to, to take a look into because that brake light is still on. Um, so I'll, I'll take an OBD2 scanner eventually to it and, uh, and we'll go. All right, so that's gonna be it for today's video. I know it's been a, a long video, but it was a long trip. Uh, I think the trip total, I left at 6.30 in the morning. I got back at midnight and a lot of that had to do with the two you know, traffic stops. One thing I didn't show in the video is um, in New York, I was looking for a U-Haul place to try to repair the trailer. Um, so that took another hour or two. Um, so it was a long trip, but it was fun. The Tesla did its job. I mean, it, it trailered the, the, uh, the Mini Cooper easily, you know. Um, so other than, you know, the trailer lights, uh, everything went pretty smoothly. The one thing that was a little bit of an issue, as I, I noted in the video, is that trying to find the superchargers to charge a car when you're hauling a trailer can be a little bit of a, you know, of a hassle. But once you know which, you know, which uh, stations or which superchargers have the trailer, parking then uh it, it makes it a little easier so that's my first time up there and first time trailering uh with the model x but it does really really well and i'm really happy with it but anyways if you're new to the channel um just stay tuned subscribe because i have a lot more content coming up um i'm looking into uh maybe trading up the the porsche 911 um so i have a video that i already posted about that and uh, i'm gonna have a lot of videos coming up on the mini cooper and we're gonna be doing a lot to it and hopefully I should get it up and running. I mean, it runs around right now. I've driven it around, and uh, but the brakes definitely I have to work on. Uh, I've ordered all the parts. Uh, everything's coming in, and I've ordered the fluids, and I'm actually going to be changing, I think, all the fluids on the car, brake fluid, radiator, um, oil, transmission. Uh, I'm going to treat the car as if nothing has ever been done to it, you know, because there's 100,000 mile uh, maintenance, and I don't know if it was done or not, so I'm just going to treat it like my own, and I'm going to go ahead, well, it is my own now, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just do everything to it, spark plugs, air filter, cabin air filter, etc. So just follow along and, you know, keep up you know, with all the new videos that have been coming out. And most of the content is going to be on the Mini Cooper, though I do have a couple things coming up for the Tesla Model X 
And I do have something coming up for the uh, Porsche 911 also. So anyways, I want to thank you all for subscribing, for watching. And uh, if you have any comments, let me know. Thank you. You all take care and stay safe.